All right, we're going to be doing a playthrough, obviously, when the early access uh, comes out. Or it comes out in full release, right? But we're just going to have a look at the characters. through some uh, of the options I'm thinking of doing a drow Aggressive little bugger, isn't he? So, I'm pretty sure I'm going male. And uh, obviously these aren't open yet because we're still in the early access until the third. Okay, so you add proficiency bonus to all rolls made on insight and then religion. Makes sense. That'll be our typical background. So, Charlotte, you're an expert in manipulation, so you have a proficiency in deception. I press T to keep that on the screen. Plus two to your charisma. And uh, sleight of hand is a plus four to dex. Okay. Criminal is deception and stealth. Wait, is that the same thing? Oh, sleight of hand. Sleight of hand and stealth. Proficiency, basically the same thing. Your acrobatics is dex again. Performance is charisma. Wisdom plus three. 
Survival is another wisdom plus three. Oh, so these are base, are they? Plus two from race. It's not giving you your background, though. And survival we looked at arcana would be intelligence intimidation is charisma okay anyway the races the high elf you get the the cantrip but you can customize that like telekinesis or it. So from what I the little I know, cantrip is something that you can Cast repeatedly. You don't have limited uses per rest. Right? Wait. Oh, okay, yeah, so you have an advantage against metal armor. That makes sense. True strike gives you advantage on your attack rolls. So, as the race, and as a sub race, you the Wood Elf and the High Elf. Mask of the Wild. Get an extra proficiency in stealth. Take only half damage from flames. Get extra intelligence and charisma. Manifest the sign of supernatural power that grants you advantage on intimidation and performance checks. And you get the mage hand. Oh, there's three tieflings, okay. She gets strength. Fair enough. Then uh, drow is what I think I'm going to go with. At the moment, anyway. Get dancing lights. It's not customizable. Hmm. Vision with rapiers, short swords, you have superior dark vision, you get dex and charisma and keen senses, so you're proficient in perception, you get wisdom plus three.
You can be sworn to Loth or fight against Loth. Or seek to end the conflict with Loth. Interesting. Then go human thing gets plus one to a bunch of stuff. Um I'm not gonna be human. I know that. And obviously the, the Dragonborn isn't in this one yet. It's Yankee. Light armor and medium armor proficiencies. Short long sword and great sword proficiencies. Get animal handling, stealth, sleight of hand. What did you get? It's all the same thing, is it? Okay. Yankee are cool and all, but I don't think I'll be going that way anyway. I'm, I'm like pretty much set on Drow, but it's just fun to see. Of course, you've got your axes and hammers. Yeah, that makes sense. Conkers. He's stout, all right. So you gain extra hit points every level. And you have plus two to con, so you are a shield dwarf and you get armor proficiencies. And extra strength. Just the two. Yeah, I'm probably missing a couple of things now because obviously we're not on the up-to-date version. And you get the high elf cantrip as well. Oh, right, and the half-elf then gets to choose its improvements. And gets plus two charisma. Interesting. Movement speed is 10.5, okay. Instead of a uh, 9 for the, um, yeah, all the others. And with the halflings, actually stealthy. You can speak with animals, the gnomes. Strong heart resilience. Resilient against poison, okay. For the strong heart halflings. Drow for now, anyway. Appearance, um, we'll muck around with that later. Well, not later, but whenever. So, maximum hit points per level is 14. Saving throws, constitution, light and medium armor, shields, simple and martial proficiency. You deal two extra damage with a melee and improvised weapons when throwing objects. Resistance to physical and an advantage on strength checks and saving throws. Our strength is 15. With this current setup? Hmm. Alright. <laughs> the birds! 
Um, I'm not going to think a bird. So you get a bunch of spells, the healing will be customized. You get level one spell slots unlocked, dexterity and charisma saving throws. Simple weapons, long swords, rapiers. The cleric. Clerics are representative of the gods they worship wielding potent divine magic for good or ill. We started in the life domain. Let's get radiant. Help out with ability checks. Oh wait, did I do that? Um, let's go to you. It's not actually changing anything there. Okay, it'll obviously give different options in um, in thing uh, conversation. That's the word. You can't be charmed, frightened, or possessed by them. When these creatures attack it, they have a disadvantage. So that's from uh, Celestial's Elemental Phase, Fiends, and Undead. Three to thirty damage. Three D ten. The wisdom save. Okay. Cool. Cleric, the Druid, Thorn Whip. And pull it three meters closer to you. Ah, Shillelagh. The bonus action. Oh man, I'm gonna mess that up so badly. Oh man, I want a scimitar already. I'll be doing a lot of things for aesthetics over uh, functionality, I think. That's what I always do. So hopefully we can get a good scimitar and a nice looking shield, maybe. I don't know. If we're going warrior. Or fighter or whatever. 
So I kind of want to be in like medium armor and maybe go sword and board. Druid gets all of the weapon proficiencies. Because why not? Got a bunch of transmutation. Speaks with animals. Thunderwave. Fog cloud. Excuse me. Um, like the armor. So you can pretty much wear any armor with shield proficiency. So we'd actually be able to cast spells then in heavy armor and with a shield. Hmm. You get a heal as well. Oh, right. Uh, there's actual... Hey, Celestial Magnet. I'm not particularly... Like, I've played a bit of Pathfinder. I've played a bit of... You know, divinity and the like. But I'm not overly, overly familiar, so I'll be taking my time. We're kind of just looking at characters for the moment, and then we'll be doing a run. Obviously, on the third. Yeah, I have a light grasp on it, but there are things that are definitely going to catch me out. One bonus to armor class. Mainly weapon in one hand and no weapon in the other hand. You get a plus two bonus to damage rolls with that weapon. Eh, okay. So it's a re-roll on ones or twos. Okay. Toggleable passive feature. When you have a shield, impose disadvantage on an enemy who attacks one of your allies when you're within one and a half meters. You must be able to see the enemy. This is a reaction. Yeah, I played I played a bit of Kingmaker, and I do want to go through Wrath of the Righteous. Uh play Pillars of Eternity. Um, I haven't finished any of them. I just don't have the time. So, like, I want to, I want to fully play through Baldur's Gate three. I want to go and play it through Wrath of the Righteous. Um. Yeah. I probably want to do a couple of runs in in Baldur's Gate three. Anyway, what's this uh, reaction? Oh, okay, yeah. And it recharges once per turn. Yeah, makes sense. It's like an overwatch. Yeah, like I... I, I, want, I played Pathfinder uh, Kingmaker on the channel early on when I was starting out, but obviously... There wasn't many people watching, so <laughs> uh, I didn't go through t to the end of it. If I'd be thinking that, that'd be good. Out of all of that. Could be useful. Get disadvantage on an enemy. 
once per turn. Could be good. Alan. Oh, wait, go back here. Uh, maximum hit points per level is 12. Alright, max. Yeah, that's right, isn't it? Per level, we could gain up to 12. Channel Oath Charges. In order to channel the power contained in your pallet and oath, which you can use to heal certain actions. Replenished on short and long rest. So there's a heal. And gain advantage against Celestials, Fiends, and Undead. Hmm. That could be interesting. What are the oaths then? Oh, sorry, that's the oath. Let's get another hill. All nearby enemy or enemies, allies within three meters. That's a bonus action. The new release date actually really suits me because I'm on holidays from work um, the last two weeks of August. So hopefully make a lot of progress at that point. Um, okay. Grant an ally a vengeful aura that deals 1d4 radiant damage to anyone who hits them with a melee attack. Lasts for two turns. Hmm. 18 meter range on that as well. I'm just thinking then if we were within range of them. Oh no, that's not this character. Never mind. <laughs> so I need the two oats. Oh. Like healing all allies is obviously always going to be nice. Only two healing. Oops, I need to do that. Um, kind of between the two now. You just get the you get the fighting style there instead of the other action. You get a, a personal healing there. So 1d10 plus 1. Then you get a heal there, which is 4 healing. What was the... Uh, it's, just, it's just 4 healing, but it gets rid of poisons and everything. Paladin armor is beautiful. I'll be honest now, I played about two hours when the early access came out to see if uh, I liked it because it's basically it's basically Divinity 3, right? <laughs> as well as Baldur's Gate 3. Um, so I haven't seen much and I've been keeping away from all of it. Ranger. Yeah, we could do a Ranger maybe. You get a bay. You have to pick your favorite enemy. You have the medium armor. No weapon provision. Well, sorry, no specific sword or proficiencies of any sort. Your cantrip is true strike. I was going range because of the DPS, but if I want to chill run it, I just do a fighter. See, I'd 
Like, when I'm playing Skyrim or whatever, you know, it's always the same. You might have a spell or two, but you know, I like to go Archer. That's why for this one I'm thinking of going Fighter or Paladin. Um, I've also thought about maybe not using a lot of them, but I think that would just miss out on too much story. I know there's more of them. Ranger Rogue? Yeah. I think a lot of people go that way, don't they? Gain proficiency in investigation. Creatures you hit with ensnaring strike. Either ranged or melee have disadvantage on their saving throw. You specialize in hunting creatures from other planes of existence. You gain proficiency in arcana. You cast protection from evil and good, which grants protection, yeah. Because of stab stab, yeah. Mage Breaker. We have a history of battling spellcasters. Gain proficiency in a canna and the true strike cantrip. This gives you advantage on attack rolls against a creature. Wisdom is your spellcasting ability for this spell. Sworn to serve a crown. You're sworn to serve a crown or nation to seek to bring its foes to ruin. Oh, it's changing this. Yeah, yeah, okay. Investigation. Arcana. Arcana. You get heavy armor proficiency then as the Ranger Knight. Sanctified Stalker. Are the enemies of the Holy or Juridic Order. Gain proficiency in religion. And the Sacred Flame Cantrip. 18 meter up to 8 damage. Radiant. Oh yeah, that's so that's why you have the familiar. It's like a hand proficiency, which we already would have. So this is resistance to cold, fire, and poison. And I think as a ranger, though, you kind of want the, the companion. That's why, um, yeah, high risk reward. That's kind of why I'd probably stay away from Rogue for the moment until I know better. Sneak attack. An arranged sneak attack. Dun, 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 dun. Sorcerer. Draconic Bloodline. Go Sorcerer, walk around. Yeah, exactly, yeah. <laughs> Kill touch. I'm gonna change all this, right? Yeah. That's kind of cool. Okay, so you have wild magic and draconic bloodline. 
Okay. Tasha's hideous laughter. Huh. Got a warlock. Oh, sorry. Do you know what? I didn't. I didn't even look at this. Constitution saving throw, charisma, dagger proficiency. Tides of Chaos. Activate to gain advantage on your next attack roll, ability check or saving throw. Increased chance of wild magic surge afterwards. I see. I have no idea what that means, but I see. Extra hit points. When you aren't wearing armor, your base armor class is 13. Cool. That's the fiend. When you reduce a hostile creature to zero points, this gift from your patron grants you four temporary hit points. Great old one, when you land a critical hit against a creature, a creature and any nearby enemies are frightened until the end of their next turn. Would be powerful. Get Eldritch Blast. And Blade Ward. Kill Touch. Yeah, all the other stuff. I presume these are all kind of like the base ones and then mm. you and then a wizard straight up wizard So that's something I don't, uh, I haven't read into yet. Prepared spells. You get like an extra cast of them between rests or what do prepared spells do? Oh, that's good. So you can replenish, as a wizard, you can replenish your spells out of combat. Instead of having to rest. Hmm. Where to next? Hmm. What was that? Let's hope the locals are friendly. Hells, something just woke up down here. Be wary. This place is trapped. see make him blue nah is your character blue I downloaded it. All right. Uh, 
Oh, also... Mm, I'm tempted to go... But no, this isn't going to be the run anyway, but I'm tempted to go fighter. Proper like Pompadour wig, right? And now we're in the bees. What? The bees are all curly, are they? No. We do a bit of gold at the back there, or orange at the back. Simple enough. Uh, tattoos? Nah. I don't need to go too far into that. Can we not um, customize the base a bit more? Or is that in the revamped version for the release? Hey, Shiver. How you doing, bud? They do look good so far, yeah. Yeah, probably stick with five. Or was that seven? Uh, yeah. Custom character. This is still the early access version, so like all the new stuff isn't in for the release. I was just having a look at the base stuff because I'm thinking I'm going drow. Thinking of going fighter. Thinking of going fighter. Ah, oh, that was just whatever name. Came up. I'm not going to be saving this or anything like that. Oh, I haven't done this actually. I think athletics and intimidation is probably going to be the way to go there. Give you survival, which would be an extra wisdom.
Well, he was getting killed. <laughs> I ran into an issue. I hired a crew member in that and um, they booked out. So everything they touched disappeared. And I'd filled up their inventory, so... That's where I kind of left that today. I'd picked a, a nav console out of a second ship after selling the first reactor. Um, performance ability. That could be good. I'm also thinking then, though, that um, athletics and survival, either that or athletics and intimidation. Skills without a proficiency. Slide a hand, uh, turn off. I'd nearly change out the intimidation. <laughs> Plus zero. Great. I think that's fine. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is all changed for the release version. Um, so we'll jump into that when it happens. Um, the uh, 15 strengths. Charisma of minus one. I nearly say that's okay. Oh. Doesn't say that there, does it? That's fine, though. I think that would be all right. The custom will change the name when we do the thing. Outlander. There's a drow as a Sildarin drow. I'm thinking Sildarin drow. I don't know. Appearance, well, doesn't make any difference. Uh, probably a fighter with a protection fighting style. I think skills and everything are fine the way they are, and abilities I think are fine the way they are. Tell me, who do you dream of at night? Oh, yeah, I forgot about this. Hmm. 
be like a half drow. That's it, right? Yeah. Once you've done that, you're set to go. It's the 16th. Let's go down with the third. Which is what? Two and a half weeks away. Down to Thursday. I guarantee it comes out like 4 p.m. my time and I'm going to have to go to work. All right. So I think that's what we'll do. That. And obviously we'll change the name. Uh, I'll turn. I will be turning on the Twitch integration. We'll see how much we're going to use it. See who's around to watch. I'll be making a lot of decisions myself, but we'll throw out a couple. All right, definitely. When it happens. Oh, we just spent an hour in character creation just going through that. <laughs> so yeah, on the third, we're pretty much going to make this character. And uh, we'll jump into it then.